hello guys so i have a quick update to share with you good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on your location at this time of the day all right as we already know today being the 18th day the month of march 2023 nigerians will decide who will be their next governor in each of their respective uh states so what do i have for you just as you have seen on your screen tenable send message uh to security agencies mbc over Peter Obi's inciting statement. So of recent, um, Peter Obi has been on different um, TV stations talking about the outcome, the aftermath of uh, February 25 uh, election. So Tinibu has, um, has called on security agencies to caution the Peter Obi over what, according to him, he described as inciting comment. So Tinibu um, made the declaration and also urged um, the National Broadcasting Commission to sanction any broadcast station in the country, granting Peter Obi his major contender in the just concluded election on due access. I mean, why, why is Tinibu starting this way? That is the question we should be asking now. What happened to freedom of the press? What happened to freedom of speech? and so on. I mean, personally, I think this is not a way to go, all right? But let me just break everything down for you. So in a statement, uh, as at yesterday in Abuja, through his campaign council's director of media and publicity, Mr. Bayo, Tinubu said that Peter Obi's comment could incite violent and are discrediting an election deemed to be free and fair. So according to Tinubu, Tinubu still insists that the February 25 election was free and fair, okay? So, um, according to Tinibu's statement, he said uh, Peter Obi's criminally false and inciting statement about the election were geared toward influencing the court to cancel it so that Peter Obi and Atiku can ally in a fresh election. Tinibu also um, alleged that the defeated Labour Party presidential candidate, that is Peter Obi, still goes around inflaming passion, spreading lies, as if he is still campaigning for the highest office in the land, weeks after um, the exercise was concluded and a winner announced. And according to Tinibu again, that they are worried about his recent media round on Arise Television and Channels Television, in which he made a profoundly misleading, criminally false, and inciting statement about the election that he lost woefully. Tinibu also said that they call on the security agencies to caution Peter Obi from further making uh, remarks, especially after he claimed he is challenging the result of the election in court. And also, um, acts on Arise TV about his loss he derived the election, considered by many to be best in our recent history. He described it as recklessly, as probably the worst wrong election and not God's will in one moment. He likened the election to be robbery. Okay, so that is what Tinibu is trying to say. And he has called on the security agencies to caution uh, Peter B and also call on NBC to sanction any um, television station, any broadcasting uh, studio that grant interview to Tinibu and others. I mean, personally, uh, I don't think this is the best way to go. That is the truth. Nothing but the truth. But I believe um, at this point in time, if Peter Obi should be, you know, granted an interview with different broadcasting stations, the same should go to Tinibu as a president-elect. I believe at this point in time, let us um, face the fact. At this point in time, Tinibu should have been the person that would be appearing on broadcasting studios. I mean, nobody should tell me that Arise TV, Channels Television, and others have not been inviting Tinibu for interview. I mean, let us face that fact. Because this is the person that all these um, broadcasting stations should be focusing on as the president-elect. So I believe that most of these uh, channels has been inviting Tinibu for interviews. But nobody has seen Tinibu on the television ever since or after that February 25 election. 
And now they have these people, they need content. That is the truth. These broadcasting stations, they need content to move their broadcasting studio forward. That is how they make money. They need content. So if they invite somebody to their studio and then the person honor the interview, I mean, there is nothing wrong with that. At least we have some code of conduct. And we also have a law, freedom of speech, free, uh, freedom of press, freedom of the press. But now that Tinibu is calling on the, um, is a president-elect, and now that Tinibu is calling on the security agencies to caution uh, Peter Obi, and also call on the NBC to sanction any broadcasting channel that give Peter Obi access and his ally and others. Because the, the election, people still talk about the election, the outcome of that, the aftermath of that election. And now Tinibu is calling on security agencies and NBC to sanction any channel. Believe me, they will do it. Don't be surprised that most of these um, broadcasting channels, they, they, may, they may shut them down when the right time comes. You know what I'm saying? Don't be surprised. This is not surprising to me. Like, seriously, I wouldn't lie to you. I mean, the case is in court. Fine. These broadcasting channels, they need content. How do they get content? They need content to move their broadcasting channels forward. So, Tinibu calling on security. But, however, this is my own personal opinion. I stand to be corrected because everything Peter B, you know, talks in the broadcasting channels, everybody has been following it. People see it not only because of uh, Peter B saying it. And of recent, I updated you guys that um, there was a publication that there will be a nationwide protest of, uh, you know, shut down INEC or NINEC in Nigeria because of uh, February 25 election. Then Peter will be on his verified Twitter handle says he's not aware of such protests. So these guys, they want to use every means to divert the attention of the people from the court case. Now, out of the nine um, states, Tinibu's um, lawyers needed so that they can file their petition in court. INEC was able to give them two states. Now, the question is, in what material were you using to declare somebody a winner? They need nine states. They cannot go through the 36 states because of the time frame. I think they have only two days left to file an appeal. So you don't have time. And Labour Party need only nine states so that they will be able to file their appeal. But INEC only produces two states for them. Now, if you are able to produce two states, what material then did you use to declare somebody winner of election? If you cannot produce only nine states, requested. All right, guys, let me not um, take much of your time. I only want to update you the latest uh, that Tenebu is um, already calling on security agencies and um, broadcasting channels to not to give um, Peter B and others assets for them to talk about the just concluded election. However, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.